Hi Leo, welcome in to Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that all is well with you. We're taking a divine look at divine tarot messages for you. Divine messages from the angel spirits guys using our tarot cards. Um, to get like to see what's going on in your energy, Leo. We're in Leo season right now. Happy birthday to you celebrating. What's going on for Leo? Two of Swords. Now you may not be you may be thinking you're not hearing from anyone or talking to anyone right now, but you you may be thinking or someone is also thinking about you. I hear equal. This person is thinking of um seeing you. Tarot. This person this person could be a tarot reader or you could be um this person is could be something someone from your past. Alright, King of Swords. Alright, so what's going on for Leo? Someone may be missing you, like, frustratingly, exasperatingly, <sighs> missing you like that. Longing for you, wanting you home. Someone's home may be empty and they're bored and they're alone and they're hot. And you are like the water that they're waiting for to come in. So watch out for water. Anything with your water, please, Leo. And be, just keep, remain hydrated. All right, someone wants somebody wants to come around so let's just see yeah someone is missing you so so much that they're gonna take a bus to come see you or something all right someone is missing you a lot someone is wanting to see you to connect with you this could be your community this person sees you as an angel this person really wants to unite with you or to reunite this person is thinking that you have what they need leo this person is, they, they just, you are the best thing to this person, like the most purest, realest, truest spirit form. Judgment card, natural, like maybe you don't judge, maybe you're authentic, maybe this person can be authentic with you. You're like a mirror, like an open mirror to this person because within you, like there's space for them. You reflect them. They see themselves in you. They you you probably have a spirit animal too a spirit guide you may be uh, your spirit animals could be birds all right you may wear a lot of jewelry on your fingers and your hands as well i think that helps you to connect with your spirit you see this ant crawling on my ear all right no your ancestors may have some message for you i think the jewelry that you wear is important because it may help to keep you grounded yeah you may have a lot of jewelry on your head your crown your hand your neck your feet right you also have gems within you you are a valuable person so that's probably how you adorn yourself or you should someone tried to take away your rights leo in some way or your will or someone tries to say you don't have any rights or any will that was a long time ago that was a long 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 time ago all right something happened a long time ago this full card you're going through some type of transition you're also working on manifesting your health your wealth your stability your liberation your freedom your sovereignty like you want you want a place you probably want land a home an estate a piece of island or something for your own self Someone may have tried to tell you that you can't have it. You may feel like you, they, someone is feeling like you are daring, or maybe you need to be more daring, or you are daring. You make you like um, challenge people. Your ace of swords. You are a daring person, so you challenge yourself, and you also challenge others with your own notions. There is someone that love you, or you love someone, but I feel like you are out here focusing more on your passion, your drive. So what are you passionate about? Someone is passionate about you. Um, collect, collect, collect. Maybe you have a lot going on. Seven of Cups. Maybe you have options. Maybe you're so bold and beautiful and attractive that you have a lot of admirers. Yeah, look, six of six of wands. You're like bold, beautiful, and attractive. You have a lot of attention coming into you. Um, there's a masculine or feminine uh, emperor in, in your life. What's up with this emperor? This may be someone that is challenge wants to challenge you or even wants to compete with you or is attracted to you or push wants to push you over, but they can't. All right, I'm sorry to say that. Someone is realizing you're more sturdy than they thought. King of King of Swords. 
but it's like someone trying to come at you with vehemence and anger but this person is learning to take responsibility for their own feelings because they're realizing that leo you could be dealing with a cancer that you are not someone that they should be trying to project on yeah toxic and so try not to procrastinate and and doubt yourself and stuff like that today yeah, work on your throat chakra work on your authenticity work on your realness because someone is seeing you as real and true but sometimes leo you may not be seeing yourself like that you may still have um because of your past experiences being through something rough you may still try to survive or put your defenses up or just be in protective mode or defensive mode when I think there's someone that actually love and care for you, even when you're in defense mode, this person see you, they understand you. That's great. This person is like a sage. You have like a sage that is see that can see you in real life around you. So this person, they're not holding any grudges, but they see, the, they know the energy that you're in, and they know it's because of what you experienced in your past. So we're probably gonna have to do a Capricorn reading because there's something about a Capricorn and going on here someone feisty someone may be saying you're feisty because i think they tried to talk you over and they expected that their words would have consumed you or overshadowed your words going back to you working on your throat chakra your authenticity um but they fa they found that you have a voice back or you have a energy going back to them because this person may be used just dominating and you know but they find that you're not easily you don't easily give in to fear right with this fool card this person is one this person they think you're an amazing person but they're actually wondering what you are about they think you may be tripping to not be in fear of, of their power or their voice they're looking at you like who is this little one that has a voice and they look at you and you have zero you have no fear in your eyes this person may even want to become your friend who is this person i think this person leo they've never seen some look two of cups they want to become your friend or your soulmates they've never seen someone like you i ain't telling no lie i ain't telling no lie this person was like a beast they thought that they were the beastiest but you out beast them with just your you're, you're like this little one in the crowd you know you're the little one and you're out beast, this big beast. This beast want to be your friend. This beast want to be your pet. This you, you've tamed, You're like Leo, the strength card. You've tamed a beast. This, this beast is marveling at you. This beast wants you to take care of their needs. Make make their wounds like the lion with the thorn. They see that you've got the good good. You could you could have healing powers. This beast want to come be... um. What, what, what the, this um like subservient to you now this beats wanna this beast wanna like calm down put their tail down and come to you now I, I have to find that leo card come to you now because you make them feel better like if they had an inflammation you soothe this person this someone is just finding out leo how healing you are how healing you're you're like a magician you know who you remind me of avatar you remind me of avatar and his big beast the thing that he flies on upper and um you know how sometimes the big beast would go like out of control irritated inflamed but only avatar if avatar touches him he feels calm you've you've tamed someone or petted them or soothed them or calmed them you this is epic you know this is something amazing i'm telling you about right now because this beast was the beast of the town this beast was a done dog and i'm telling you this beast towered over everyone raw, night and day and then you with a sweet your little innocent self you have your little pip of voice pip. and this beast was like who dareth speak back to me and then you, you you had you didn't even tremble. You spoke again. So this beast is like someone is realizing it's better to be like you are with you or around you. They love you. Oh my gosh, Leo. 
I'm going to leave these messages right here though. Thank you. Take care. Any last messages? No, right, not right now. All right. I love you. See you in the next one, Leo. Hope all is well with you. Like this video, share, come back again, subscribe to the channel, please, and thank you. And your support is greatly appreciated. Take care. All is within you. Much love.